right, so we're gonna take a look at my pumpkin craft and write. So this is a craft and write, which means that there are both craft pages and writing pages. So this is the craft part of it. I'll show the writing part in a little bit, but this is the craft. There are also writing pages that are for various different levels of student um, ability or grades. So you can work with this resource with a variety of grades from your lower levels with the different larger writing paper spaces and then some for the upper grades as well. So that way it can really reach a range of students in your classroom or grades that you might teach. And also, there are both fiction and nonfiction, both for writing paper and planning paper um, pages to make this a super complete resource that's really going to integrate um, and connect art with writing and inspire each other. Okay, so we're gonna do the pumpkin craft. So we're not gonna cut out this at the very beginning. We're gonna leave that because I find it's easier to cut out after, but you can do whatever you want, it's up to you. And then you got some various bits and pieces. You're not gonna need to photocopy one of each of these for your students because there's too many. So they don't need to have all of them. So what I would do is I would you just use your big chopper to cut these up into individual pieces and then put maybe two pages of these at each table they can pick from. And then same with this, two pages of eyes for each table and just cut these into strips. And that way kids can pick um, the ones they want. The only ones that you're gonna need one for each person, you probably can even share this if you want. You can, actually I guess you would need one for each person of these as well. And then, oops, of all these and then these could be just, um, as you need them. Okay, so we're going to first cut out, um, actually we're gonna do the cutting out in a second. Let's actually get this going because I'm going to use watercolor paints for my pumpkin. So I'm going to, now again, you can use whatever you want to draw with. So it doesn't really matter um, what art making medium you use. It's 100% up to you. Uh, what you want to use for your pumpkin um, and what art making mediums. So you don't have, you can pick any art mediums you want to color this. I'm just gonna do some wax crayon and watercolor paints. It's a little bit quicker for this demonstration. And also I'm gonna get some really cool wax resist effects. So you're gonna pick the different patterns that you want to use, one from each line, and then your students are going to use those patterns to fill in the spaces on your pumpkin, so each space will have and then I'm going to paint it in. Now I don't have an orange, so I'm actually just going to mix up some orange. for my pumpkin by mixing my yellow and my red watercolor paints together. And you'll see that that wax crayon actually is resisting the paint. Isn't that fun? That will really excite your students if you try that. But you don't have to use paint. You can use whatever art making mediums you want. And that's totally Totally cool, you could use oil pastels, you could use film markers and wax crayons. You can use whatever you want. It's all up to you. Or you can leave it up to the choice of your students. You can always try that as well. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry. And then I'm gonna work on my bits and pieces. So I'm gonna pick some eyes. Again, this is why you do not need one page per student. You can share a bunch with each, with a bunch of students. And also, the reason why I have lots of different options is just so students can really make this craft their own. You have the first part, which is kind of like an art integration, right? They got to explore with a little bit of art making in there. Craft, it's not just a craft that just goes and assembles pieces together and that's it. You have a little bit more exploration built into this. Um, and then you also have a lot of student choice 
integrated. So you can really pick and choose what they want to use. And that makes it really a special resource. And then they're gonna take all this excitement and transfer it into creating a lovely writing piece after. And there's so many different varieties for you as a teacher to choose from. There's again, the different leveled papers or the, maybe you have different abilities in your classroom or you um, maybe want to use this resource from one year to another and you might change grades, it doesn't matter. You have lots of different options, whether you're a primary or an upper elementary teacher. There are options for you within it. And then, there's, you can also decide on how many of them you do. Maybe you want to do a fiction and a nonfiction writing, right? So they can tar meet more targets, or you just want to do nonfiction, or you just want to do fiction. There's also pages at the end with no prompts at all, so that way students can really have even more choice if you just want to like, let them have fun with it. So there's so many different flexible options for you as a teacher within this resource. Okay, I'm gonna pick a mouth to use for my pumpkin. I'm gonna use this fun mouth today. And I need the stem. We'll color these in. we can assemble so now we can add on our stem we have lots of room now look how cute that is isn't that just adorable and they sell autumn pumpkin eh Place on a mouth. This is where all your students' different crafts are really gonna show how unique they are. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the cutest? bits and pieces. Nice harvest moon. Perfect. And once you're done, your craft, your pumpkin craft is done. You have the entire pumpkin craft and rice. You're gonna get your lesson plan in there. 
with your standards that it's going to cover with both the writing and the craft. When you have a warm up challenge, a pumpkin life cycle or reading, do two different types of rubrics to meet the needs of your particular students. We, have, um, we also have for an educator guide, we also have a PowerPoint in this. So don't worry if you're wanting a PowerPoint, this all comes as a PowerPoint for your students. This is just a perfect thing to leave if you have like a sub coming in or just to use for yourself as a quick reference. Your pick a pattern page, you have all your writing planning pages and writing paper. So there's tons of different styles to choose from with varieties of different prompts. So you can do as many or as little as you want. So make sure you check it out and see if this is the right resource for you and your classroom.